Jackpot Panda, Cozy Bear, Lazarus Group, Ocean Buffalo. If you think I'm talking about some gaming characters, then you are wrong. These are the name of advanced persistence threat. In short, APT. To keep it simple, these are called advanced cyber attackers or group of attackers. They have been involved in many of the major cyber attacks in the past. Many of them are state sponsored and hence they have enough time, enough money and enough patience. In most situations, organizations fail to protect themselves from such threats as each group uses different tactics, techniques and procedures. In short, we call TTP. But there is one organization which keeps the track of every threat group's TTPs. They share in the public domain so that anyone can use it and strengthen their security controls. The name of the organization is called MITRE and their program is called as MITRE Attack Framework. If you want to know what is MITRE Attack Framework, how exactly it works and how can you use it within your organization, then stay till the end of the video and if you are new to this channel, please subscribe now. Let's start. What is MITRE Attack Framework? Let's first talk about MITRE. MITRE is a non-profit organization that works with the private companies and US government. They have done a lot of works on counter-terrorism, bank fraud, and cybersecurity. If you know about vulnerability management, then you must be knowing about CVEDetains.com, the platform where you get the vulnerabilities that their CVE score. This platform is managed by MITRE. Now let's talk about the MITRE attack framework. Attack stands for Adversary, Tactics, Techniques, and Common Knowledge. MITRE Attack Frameworks documents the attacker's tactics and techniques based on the real-world observations. MITRE Attack Framework has got three matrices. First, Enterprise Matrix. This matrix has got information about multiple platforms such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Office 365, Google, or maybe Network or Containers, and many more. Second one is the mobile matrix. This matrix talks about the attacker's techniques to compromise Android and iOS devices. Third one is the ICS matrix. This matrix talks about attacker's techniques used for compromising industrial infrastructure. In this video, we'll talk about the enterprise matrix. There are two core components of this matrix. First is tactics, second one is the techniques. Question is what are tactics? Let's understand each one of them. Tactics talks about the technical objectives of the attackers, such as gaining access, maintaining persistence, establishing command and controls, and many more. These top of the columns are tactics. You can see total 13 tactics from reconnaissance to persistence to discovery to exfiltration to finally impact. Let's talk about techniques. How attackers are accomplishing their goal. This is covered in techniques. Under each tactics, there are several techniques and each techniques can have some sub techniques as well. Let's talk about how MITRE attack framework is different from cyber kill chain. This is cyber kill chain and this is MITRE attack framework. The fundamental difference between them is that cyber kill chain claims all cyber attackers follow a specific sequence, but MITRE attack makes no such claim. It follows hierarchy of tactics, techniques, procedures, and other common knowledge. But which one is better? To be very honest, if you are a threat hunter or you are part of a red team, then MITRE attack is better for you. How can security professional use MITRE attack framework? Let's first talk about the red team engineer. Attack simulation. By using MITRE attack, red team can simulate attacks and test the organization security postures. Testing controls. A red team can utilize the same TTP as the real world attackers and launch the attack. This will help the organization to see how effective their existing security controls are. To do this threat teaming based on MITRE attack framework, they can use an open source tool called Caldera. More about this tool in the last section. Let's talk about security architects. Let's understand how they can use MITRE attack framework. They can use it to identify security gaps. For example, security architects can use this framework to understand the commonly used phishing attacks. And they can use security controls such as phishing simulations for employees, advanced email filtering solutions, and advanced endpoint protection solution. With the help of this MITRE attack framework, security architects can ensure that the security controls are based on real-world threats rather than any hypothetical scenarios. Let's talk about how CISO can use MITRE attack framework. They can use it to align security strategies. 
by analyzing which techniques are commonly used by the attackers in their industry or sectors. CISO can align security strategies with the real world threat facing their organization. Communication to both. CISO can provide clear and data-driven insights into the actual level of risk facing the organization. Number three, security investment. Based on MITRE attack insights, CISO can communicate the value of security investments. This helps the board members. How security companies use MITRE attack framework. Almost all the cybersecurity vendors have made their products MITRE attack ready. Let's talk about CrowdStrike product. Their endpoint protection solutions is integrated with the MITRE attack framework to show the indicators to better understand the steps taken by the malware. If you look at the Cisco SecureX product, it shares the MITRE attack analytics specific to endpoints. Let's talk about very popular Microsoft Sentinel. They map MITRE attack framework and categorize all the events and incidents accordingly. But wait, being a security engineer, how can you validate these products? How can you make sure they are perfectly mapped with attack framework? Don't worry, there is a solution. You can visit this website. MITRE Ingenuity is the division of MITRE Corporation. You can validate all the cybersecurity vendors based on different APD groups and techniques. Let's get hands-on with MITRE ATT&CK. We'll talk about five tools that are based on MITRE ATT&CK framework. Number one, Caldera. This is an open source tool for adversary simulation, manual routine, and automatic incident response. To get started, download the code from GitHub and link is in the description. Start a fresh project. Deploy agents for Linux, Windows, or Dublin. Add abilities to adversaries. Create new operations under campaign. Finally, you get a detailed analytics of operation, techniques, tactics used by the red team, and the facts discovered by the operations. Number two, MITRE Attack Navigator. Now, this is very popular. And this is a free tool by MITRE to visualize their defense capabilities. Red team, blue team planning, frequency of detecting techniques, and many more. Simply visit this website, Select a new layer. You can filter metrics by thread group, affected softwares, techniques, and campaigns, and many more. Let's talk about our use case. If APT3 and APT41 are the major threat for you, of course, depending on your risk assessment, create two matrices with risk score 1 and 2 respectively, and then create a third layer. You will see a common techniques used by both the groups. This will help you focus on priority techniques. Tool number three is Atomic Red Team. It's a library of tests mapped to MITRE ATT&CK framework. For example, you can select any techniques. I select Discovery. You will get multiple techniques. I select Software Discovery 1518. And then below, you will find Atomic Tests. As you can see, this test query the registry to detect version of Internet Explorer. Isn't it great? Tool number four, Meta. It is an information security preparedness tool. Meta prepares the adversarial simulation using Redis and Vagrant and VirtualBox. You can learn more about Meta on their official GitHub account. I'm sharing the link in the description below. Tool number five is Sandbox Scryer. It is an open source tool to produce threat hunting and intelligence data. The tool leverages the MITRE ATT&CK framework to organize and prioritize the finding, organizing IOCs, and understanding attack movements. You can learn more about this tool from their official GitHub account. Again, the link is in the description. All right, so we need to end the video. I hope you found this useful. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer that. This is Rajneesh Gupta signing off.